Exercise 1, NX 8.5. Begin with going with New Part File. We're going to go ahead and make sure Model is selected. Name this one Capital E1 and put it in the directory where you know you could locate it by just clicking on that button and OK. Hit OK. Oops. Call this E1B just because I made one earlier. All right. So let's get our report started here. We're going to go ahead and maximize it here. Okay, normally you don't have to maximize, I just had the last one minimized. What we're going to start off by doing is we're going to go to the sketch button down here and we're going to select the plane. In this case we could select one of these datums on this uh, geometry here. I'm going to select the XY plane. And here you'll see there's a variety of options. I'm just going to hit go to the general, hit OK. And now if you go down here, and here's our sketch tools, find the corner rectangle tool. You click on it, you'll see that there's the different rectangle methods. We want these by two points. Click on the origin, and we're going to go ahead and click out here somewhere. And uh, that was a graphical glitch that you saw there. It just didn't update the screen. Not sure why that's happening. Might be my, my graphics card problem. But the uh, width, I'm going to go ahead and type in 3. Oops. Or you can actually uh, type in the value, or now you can actually double click. Oops, let me hit escape. And double click, and we'll change that to 3 by 5. Just by double clicking on those dimensions. And you could drag them out as well. All right, now at this point, we're ready to extrude. So we go up to the Extrude button. You could rotate with the middle mouse button if you depress it. And from here, we want to go a half inch. So I can type in 0.5. And there's other options as well. But we're going to just hit OK. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to Sketch. And we're going to select this surface to sketch on. Again, go with the default settings here and hit OK. And let's go back to the rectangle tool. Glide up to the origin, lower left, drag it out. Then we get that graphical glitch, but if you click, it will update. I'm not sure if you'll receive that again. It's because I don't have a professional graphics card, most likely. I'm just going to click on here. And then we could uh, hit Escape on the keyboard and double click on the dimension and type in our 1.5. And automatically reference that edge. Or rotate it a little bit again, and from here we're ready to extrude. So you just click on extrude, you type in the value, and that's pretty much it. Just hit OK over here on the left. Now the next thing we're going to do, click on sketch again. We're going to add, um, actually in fact we could go right to hole. We're going to drop the hole in on this one. So go to hole, and we're going to go ahead and select this surface here. And you see it gives us some dimensions there. Um, first of all, we have to specify a point. So here we could just go ahead and uh, add additional points. Hit undo there. And we can actually double click on these dimensions and type in, in fact, we want it one inch off the top edge and one inch off to the left edge. You can add the dimensions in overriding writing the ones that are showing up in advance if you just go to the uh, dimension tool here, Invert Dimensions. You may find yourself having to change it to entire assembly versus active sketch at times. Um, anyhow, or, or entire part. Okay, and there's our uh, set there. We're going to go ahead and hit Finish, the little Finish flag up here. Or you could hit it up here, the upper left. Okay, and here we're seeing our hole in place. We're going to go with the simple, and the diameter is going to be set to 0.75. Just plug that in over here on the left. The depth, um, we could actually say uh, through body, if we know that it's going to always go through. And, go, and make sure it's set to subtract. It should automatically be with the hole, so you don't actually have to worry about that here. Okay, so now we have our through hole. 
Now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the blending tools. We have Edge Blend. If you select that, we go Circular. Notice there's Conic as well, but we want Circular here. And the blends we're going to put in are going to be 0.75. Then just select the edges that you'd like to put these blends on and hit OK. Now let's take a look to the right of the Edge Blend tool. You hit the little arrow, you'll find Chamfer. Click on Chamfer. Make sure it's set to 0.125. We'll set it to symmetric, but you, know, you can have asymmetric, so you can put in different values or offset and angle. And just select these edges here and here. We're going to rotate this around a bit, and we're going to go to the shell command now. We're going to make this a thin wall part. If you click on shell, and we're going to set it to 0 0.06, and then just select the faces you want to remove. So as you click on them, you'll see it will automatically update. It's kind of a cool little feature there. And you can hit OK. Now some of these other these sketches, if you want to hide them, you can just right click on them. And there's right below here, there's the hide button or control B. Do the same. And that concludes exercise one.